10, 10, 10. Man. Uh. Ups. Ups. Us. Bus. Uh, no. Bun. Bun. Last word. What's the last one? Okay. What's the last word? And then you can tell me them all. Uh, hut. 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 All right. Tell them all to me. Go. Uh, gun. Run. Run. Big tell. Big. Big tell me what. What. Man, 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 mm -hmm. ten, ten, man. Us, us. Yep, us. Bus. Bun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Salut. Uh, hello, welcome to Deputy Tribe. I'm Cassie Deputy. If you're new here, welcome. I am a homeschooling mom. I'm educating mom of eight children, and I wanted to come on here today and encourage you guys in teaching your little kids to read. Reading is probably one of the most important and most difficult things you do um, in educating your children. But once you teach them how to read, your workload is way less because once they can read, now you want them excited about reading and you're feeding them reading materials. So how do you get there? Um, a few tips about teaching your children how to read. First of all, do not make it something that they dread doing. If they're not ready, do not start. Different kids are interested in reading at different ages. Um, when they show an interest or they express they want to read or they want to start writing, that is a great time to start teaching them how to read. So if that doesn't come till they're five, six, or seven, that's okay. It's all right. They'll, you want them to be interested in learning how to read. Um, if it comes when they're three, that's great. Or two, that's great. Teach them how to read. Once they're interested in it, teach them how to read. You're not going to fall behind. I would say if your child is in their like age seven and they're still not interested in reading. Personally, for me, we have always started our children between the ages four and five, uh, three to five-ish, somewhere in there. Um, so if they're not interested in it by seven or eight, I would start anyways. That's just my personal preference. But here's how we teach our kids how to read. We use, and this book is extremely beat up because I've used it with all my kids, but it's called The Reading Lesson and it teaches phonics, and it's only, how many lessons long? 20, I wanna say? I wanna say it's 20 lessons long. But um, let me just kinda give you a page through of why I like this book so much and how we've used it. So this is obviously not what the cover looks like. We've beat this book up over the years pretty well. But essentially, it is just a phonics book. Here's the lessons. So there are 20 lessons. We have never finished this book. I think we've gotten to like in here. And by that point, my kids are already reading short chapter books. So it's very, very simple. And you start with chapter one and you learn. This is for you to know how to use the book, but here's how you use it. You learn the sounds and they're associated with pictures. We don't teach our kids um, the alphabet, like A, B, C, D. We teach them A, B, K, D, and E, like the noises of them, not the actual letters. So, and it helps with that. So when they're like two or three, we don't teach them like this is A, this is O, this is T. We actually teach them this is A, ah, this is T, this is S, this is A. Ah. So they already know the sounds. So when we start this, you start with one page only. So they go k, s, a, a, t, k, k, a, t, s, a, t, okay? You do one page or even half a page and you're done for the day. That's it. Next day you do the same page, you review it, and then you're done. If you have a little bit older child, you can do two pages. So you could do this page and then this page, but then you're done for the day. 
Then the next day I would do this page and this page and we're done for the day. Then the next day I would do this page and this page and then we're done for the day. Never, ever, ever make these lessons longer than 10, 15 minutes. Just really short every day. The consistency will absolutely amaze you. So they're very short. So yes, literally we will do this page and this page and be done. So you can copy this and they can actually write the letters in. Um, they have some, so here you can see how it progresses through lesson one. Here's a page you can copy and then they can actually draw. And then they should be reading these three words pretty well. Um, we just move on. We just keep moving through the book. I don't ever review a page more than one time because then it gets boring and redundant and then your kids don't want to read. The worst thing you can do is make them detest reading time. So one page done and you slowly work through the book and it adds new sounds. Here we're doing a little bit of letter writing. Here we're learning what a period is and sentences. So my uh, Evelyn, she is three, and I believe she is, let's see where she is. I think she's in this chapter, so she's learning these words. And then my son Arye, who's five, is, where is he? He's on this, we just started this chapter. So you see in the video before, he just learned these sounds. So we did this page, today we did just this page and he had a lot of fun reading these words. Here's my toilet paper bookmark. But you can see each lesson, it just adds a few new sounds, a few new sounds. These all say E for eagle, so they recognize that. Now the difference between, I'm really gonna need to invest in a new book I think. The difference between phonics and sight reading. I really want you guys to make sure you're not teaching sight words. Don't teach your child to read by memorizing, this is fell, this is sell, this is here, like flashcards with words. That is a horrible way to teach your children how to read because they will never have the skill set of sounding out words they don't know. Please teach your children phonics. Reading was always taught phonic, phonetically until recent years. I haven't done the history on it, but it would be an interesting study to see when sight reading came into play. So if you're using a different book, please make sure it's not based off of sight words. So as you can see, it progresses. It gets progressively more challenging, but your children don't even know it gets challenging. So they're reading these words. Okay, we'll skip a huge chunk here. They're reading short stories. By this point, we never get this far. By this point, I transition them into beginner readers, uh, which I can do another video on, or actually I can probably just add that to this video. So here it progresses. Once again, you're only doing two pages, so the amount they're reading is getting more and more. Here you're doing these types of words. So it's okay to teach them some sight words, but they need the basis of sounding words out. In quahu, badly, softly, madly. So it's got a, a lot of, I mean, if you can get them through this, they are reading small chapter books. We've literally never made it through this book. I'm not even familiar with these types of lessons back here. So that is how we start reading. The reading lesson also came with a CD called Giggle Bunny. Here's the bunny but we haven't used that since Haven. Um, so we haven't really, it's just a uh, computer thing. It's real cheesy, but it does help kind of connect what they've been learning in a different way. So once I feel like they have a good handle on reading, I will move them to beginner readers and I'll show you an example of okay. those. Let's sneak into my little kid's room here where they're playing. So what I actually have set up in here is I have two bins of books and the one bin is beginner readers for Duke. He's five books that I think he could start reading on his own. And then this one is filled with um, chapter books that are a little bit easier for Elias to go through. So what I wanted to show you is, oh, it's going to be hard to do with one hand. 
But these books right here, if some of you guys are like veteran homeschoolers, you probably recognize these. But these are made by, I think the Amish people or whatever. There's a set of them. God made Tim. So they get, um, I got all of them here. Oof. This is, they have, a, so like this is 1A. So this is the one that Arye can read. He sat down and read almost this entire book in one sitting. He's all excited. Here, here, you want to read that? So what I do is we work through these books. So they're just three letter words. Let me see if I can find, oh, one B for you guys. Two B, the good pet. So really simple, right? But when they accomplish finishing a book, it like takes your child's reading to another level. So all of a sudden they're like, I can read, I finished a book. They feel unstoppable, which is why I have this bin of books. Oh yes, Duke has a loose tooth. Another good resource is these Bob books. So these Bob books are very simple and they have a couple sight words in the beginning, but the rest they sound out. And they also can come in levels so they can get progressively harder. But they're only six pages, eight pages. So they're finishing books. They're finishing them from beginning to end and it's really exciting. And then of course you have these I Can Read My First books. And these are also really simple. See? So the goal is always to get your children to love reading, okay? It's never a chore. It's never something that they don't look forward to. If they're struggling, slow down. It is so much better to just do really short reading periods, but still get them excited. So give them good content. So now my son's book, um, Basket, comes from like, I can read levels three and four to short chapter books. You know, like if you've seen me review these before, hey, Evelyn, shh, right? So they're getting progressively more difficult. Um, let me show you an example of this. If you see. So you want to get them interesting stuff. I have a, some superhero books in here. Um, I have some of the Abeka readers in here. I have some history stuff, some different genres of books. Magic school bus, some science stuff, some history stuff, superhero stuff, things like that. Let me get out of here so I can talk to you guys again. The other thing I do is I leave books accessible for my littles. I always, I have lots of books, see? We love to read. So this is how we, oh, I gotta squeeze out of there. This is how we approach teaching our children to read. So I hope these tips kind of encourage you. It's really not that daunting of a task if you take it five to 10 to 15 minutes a day with your littles and you build up their confidence, get really excited with them, make it a time that's really fun instead of one that you guys both loathe and then your kids will fall in love with reading. So thanks for watching. Uh, hit subscribe below, like this video, share it. If you guys have any other questions or ideas for videos that you want me to do, please leave them in the comment box below. Let me know what you like seeing, what else you wanna see. Um, I've been getting a lot of traffic lately, so I really wanna know what you guys have questions about. So go ahead and do that and whoa, remember that Jesus is coming.